how to start a business with zero capital right that's a really good topic hi guys my name is Jan I'm the founder of the present and welcome to our channel where we discuss business finance and life related matters so if you're interested about those topics don't forget to subscribe and tap the notification bell so that every time we have new videos you will get notified in this video guys I would like to share two things that you can do right now if you really want to start your own business however the challenge that you have is that you don't have the funds or maybe you had savings but it's not enough okay what can we do to start initializing or like implementing our business okay the first thing that you can do is that you can always borrow money from some someone else it may be your friend it may be your mom it may be your family member or even from the banks or any lending institutions okay this is one of the things that i did right so just to give you a little bit of a background the present started last february 2 2018 okay and one of the things that we really need is a computer right specifically a laptop and the problem that I had was that uh, I did not have enough funds to purchase a laptop okay specifically this one that you're seeing right now this is a MacBook Pro okay so this is worth 88,000 pesos right 88,000 pesos uh, I'm using pesos because we're here in the Philippines specifically in Davao so at least you know right and so that's the problem that I had but I know that I needed it so that we can edit the videos so that we can also upload it because we know that if the video is better in terms of quality there are more viewers and then it's going to convert into sales in the future okay it's part of our marketing effort so what I did was that I asked my mom because she has a credit card right and then there is a one-year installment uh, with power Mac with 0% interest okay so we ha I made a deal with my mom so she swiped the card and then I told her I'm going to pay you for two years okay two years with interest okay so she at least she earned money from that uh, transactions as, uh, as well so that's what happened and after two years fortunately we were able to uh, pay all of it and uh, thank you for that and the good thing is that it's coming from the sales that we are getting it's coming from the Facebook advertising revenue from the YouTube advertising revenue and from the speaking engagements because what happened was because people are seeing our videos and they liked it they they see the value of it there are some companies who are getting us to speak for their team right to do trainings because that's one of the services that we do and it eventually turned into sales and because of that we were able to pay off my mom see so uh, that's a really good thing because the we borrowed money and we were able to pay it off okay so that's technique or tip number one that you can do tip number two is that you can also get the capitalization from your sales right this is the best thing that I really like about the current thing if you want to start a business in 2020 or even the 2021 or like 2025 five years from now ten years from now I think right you can really start a business coming from sales what I mean by that is this so in our case we provide trainings and we do speaking engagements and workshops okay so every time I deal with a certain company, I ask for a certain down payment. It's usually 50% of the contract price. And the reason for that is we're going to use it to buy some materials and to prepare the venue or whatever that we need for that certain activity. Okay. And because of that, when the, when the deal is closed, we get the money from them coming from our sales. And that's how we started the business, right? It's one of the things that allowed us to get the money from them instead of instead of coming from our own pockets see so you can also do that let's say you're selling a product you can ask for a down payment or you can pre-sell this is also one of the things that real estate developers are doing right they have the funding yes but in order for them to to get more funding supplement the current one that they have is they do pre-selling right you don't see the condominium units that are already like um, under construction but they are pre-selling it to you at a lower price so that when they get the money from the clients it actually helps them with their funding are you getting it so far so um, that's that's those are the two things that you can do right now if you want to start a business with minimal or zero capital
you can borrow money or you can get it from your sales right so question of the day I'm pretty sure that you're a businessman or you are you are an aspiring entrepreneur what are the things that you think that you can do for you to start your own business with minimal capitalization let us know in the comment section